Fellows, can you believe it has been uh, two six two months since no. the last episode? Oh, <laughs> it was in February. A <laughs> lot crazy. happened between there. A lot has happened, and we're only, of course, going to be talking about one thing and padding it out mm-hmm. to an hour and a half podcast episode with ten questions. Mm-hmm. With ten questions, <laughs> Fazbear Fortune questions. Mm. True, 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 true. Ooh, Great. I wonder if I could do like a live game show on the pod. That could you be cool. could that do that. So sick. You could do that. That would be fun. I did think it would be cool to do like uh, take like BuzzFeed quizzes or like trivia quizzes. <laughs> like which FNAF character are you live on the pod? <laughs> yeah, those stupid ones we just pull up like mid among us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like one of those. <laughs> I want to dedicate a whole episode to just taking crap like that. That would be cool. The hottest dog be. and I have grinded. There's one quiz. I can't remember what platform it's on, but it's like every <laughs> single FNAF character from every game. And it gives you like 15 or 20 minutes. Just like type them all out. Oh my gosh. And one I'm day, one day, pff, I can't, it's definitely not all of There's... them. Cause okay. it groups in it's like FNAF world one. enemies as one group. Oh, but one day okay. I'm going to get hundred percent and then I'll be the true king of FNAF. Dude, that could be a speedrun category. <laughs> it could be a speedrun category. <laughs> At some point, it's just a typing challenge. <laughs> mm. So, Austin, I know you had stuff you wanted to show off. Mark, you had stuff you wanted to show off. We can do a quick show and tell for the audience at home. Nah, I was just going to wait to show off these freaking I, I can go get, listen. Books. I mean, maybe I'll maybe talk I have, about them. Oh, I was this tragedy. Of thirty-five dollars. <laughs> the tragedy. It's not that much and of a tragedy. It's a tragedy. I mean, this is amazing, but I mean, there's some stuff I can show off. I just didn't need to go grab it. Mm. I thought you. You don't have it. Oh my good god! You took don't like ten go minutes to go and grab Dude, stuff. What we happened? We gave you so much time. I was setting up my computer. No. What do you want to go get? <laughs> Actually, I don't have anything. Let's just okay. Stop. Okay. <laughs> well. Listen, I got I got the vanny mug that I can randomly drink out of during the. Yeah, during that's the like. Mm. <laughs> that you Guys, if you're watching the video, put all the timestamps when Pinball drinks all the mugs. <laughs> <laughs> like, jump scares at this timestamp, but it's instead, oh yeah, Pinball drinks Vanny mug at 1814. <laughs> I want you to timestamp every time one of us Wake says up. book. <laughs> Wake up, drink out of Vanny, go back to bed. Wake no. up, stick my feet in Vanny. Go back to bed. <laughs> Play FNAF, <laughs> repeat. <laughs> Uh, okay. Anyways, fellas, this episode is talking about FNAF Ruin, which is not the one they canceled. Apparently, that was my understanding. Uh, isn't I mean Scott himself said, "Isn't that the one we just canceled?" No. And I have brought on two of the most peopley people in the world. First up, we got underscore under underscore score. <laughs> Woo! Re- hey. uh, noticed by D- Lewis Dacos himself. Yeah, under, under <laughs> you score. played the sound bit. Under underscore <laughs> <laughs> pinball. Quick, boot it up. We need to hear it. Pinball. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Under yeah, underscore score. Dude, I'll there never find the clip again. But I'm just happy we have the sound bite. <laughs> Search the whole like 24 hour stream. <laughs> Dude, oh. <laughs> uh, Austin's been on the show for every episode so far, unfortunately. Though newcomer this time, Mr. Pinball. Hello, people. It's me, Mr. Pinball. I know he hesitated stealing your line right there. <laughs> Every <laughs> single time, I'm like, mid-time. Pinball, go. Hello, people. It's, not, it's not your catchphrase. I need to invent one. I need to invent one. I mean, mine is uh, see on the flip side, but that's at the end, you know? Mm, which you also stole. Do you also just steal Markiplier's every once in a while? Like, oh, he is Mark. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. everybody. My name is Markiplier. Markiplier. Will you just call him... Yeah, we do just refer to it as Markiplier <laughs> I Pinball. I started saying Markiplier, which it, <laughs> so it just gets progressively worse as it goes on. Gosh, uh, we have a few bullet points we want to talk about with the ruin. We got quite a few. They go kind of in depth. So, quite frankly, I'd say let's just jump right into it. All right. Does anyone want to pick from our patented list of topics to start off with, or we could just do general thoughts on ruin. Let's let's do one out of ten. How did we each feel about? Ruin in general. Mm. You go first, Mister. I shall start. You want the... Yes, me to go first. Okay, dude. Ruin, ruin was awesome. I think 
it was sick and way better than the Secret Breach. <laughs> Initially, so I'm going to say freaking... I'm going to give it an... Is it crazy to give it a 9? A 9? Is it crazy to give it a 9 out of 10? A 9 out of 10. How about, how about you insane? justify the 9 and we'll judge you on whether or not it deserves justify that Justify the 9. That's hard. It's hard to, to, do, to say why. Dude... <laughs> You should go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so just in your no, heart, in your, you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think ruin for me was a solid like seven, which is still pretty good. It's it's a little bit lower than a nine, but I think it's still pretty mm-hmm. good. Uh, some of the point, some of the parts I enjoyed the most were seeing all the new characters interact, and some of the parts I hated the most <laughs> were <laughs> okay. what did I hate Let's about see. ruin. Well, the gameplay was a little repetitive. I know that's something we want to talk about later on. That was one of the... Yeah. Uh, Mexus didn't seem like much of a threat, even though he was kind of hyped up quite a bit. And... uh, I mean, it's also got the mimic, but that's a plus. (laughs) (laughs) That is a plus. That is a win. That is a a massive plus. (laughs) Even though Um. the day before, I put out my final ruin predictions, (laughs) and I... Will admit, I was one of the people who was not expecting the mimic, and I said, okay. I don't think the mimic's going to show up in ruin. And then my goofy ah looked like a goofy ah. It did show up. <laughs> on my bingo board, I did put there will be no useful tales references. That was very wrong. I'm very happy mm-hmm. that we got that. Um, I, you know what? I will bounce off you. It is less threatening, the game. Like, it has scary parts, but you don't feel like you are in, imminently in danger all the time. Because mm. the Mexus is, is honestly hard to kill you, to get it to kill you. Because mm-hmm. yeah, he doesn't really does kill you. Is... Ta- no, yeah, it takes a while for you I mean, to die to it. He sounds either Monty or Chica to come eventually come to you like 40 seconds later. Right, Yeah, right. it you... takes a bit. <laughs> yeah. You did remind me, and very quickly, then we'll move on to, to Mark's out of 10. There was no Rose Bobby Dot, man. Sad, there was no sad. no Rose Bobby Dot, which you, I you think, see her abundantly which that does mean friend. we're now three out of three episodes referencing Rose's abundantly <laughs> noticeable Bobby Dots, <laughs> <laughs> which we got to keep the streak alive. Anyway, mm-hmm. Pinball, what what is your one out of ten? Two out of ten. Uh, I I'm gonna give it a seven point five. Uh, okay. I played it on PC and I got to enjoy beautiful graphics. Uh, and, uh, I thought, uh, I liked that it was more linear. I didn't like the massive open world thing Mm -hmm. full of bugs. I, there was a, all the bugs are fixed in this game, which I heavily enjoyed that fact of that it's a functioning (laughs) game. Big props, Steel Wolf. You you, you made a game this time. (laughs) Big props to Steel Wolf for turning walking into a wall into a mechanic. (laughs) Buffin was Uh, freaking out about that. (laughs) I thought the I thought it was uh, there were some definitely tense moments that I thought were really good, uh, like Monty jumping out at you from the sewer and then the big title screen. Oh, that was, was cool. great. That was cool. I... that was very good. Yeah. Um, the mimic was definitely very cool. Definitely a great way to end it. The endings were were cool, I guess, except for we'll the talk about the Brazil endings. ones for Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> the other two, the other two it's, were very cool. It's insane to say that. Oh yeah, that you know that FNAF ending, the oh, Brazil ending, the Brazil ending, where everyone goes yeah. to Brazil. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy <laughs> to say. To be able to say. <laughs> I don't know. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I thought it was better than Security Breach. To fix what Security Breach failed on. Mm-hmm. So what's what's everyone's ranking for Security Breach relevant to their ranking for Ruin? You know what I mean? Because I think we're all going to agree Security Breach is worse than Ruin, but how much worse? Mm. Austin, awesome. you're, you're a floor. <laughs> yeah, you're Dude, a I I gave Ruin a nine. I'm gonna a give nine? Security Breach. You know what? In retrospect, I'm gonna give Security Breach like a six point five. It feels mm-hmm. bad, man. It feels bad, but after seeing Ruin, I don't think I can put Security Breach that high anymore. Monty right. Catwalks. <laughs> Mazer size. What? Mazer size, Austin. You can't <laughs> think about mazer size. Think about, about mazer size. size. How much lower does that bring now that you remember the mazer size puzzle? Yeah, the mazer size key. I didn't even know how to get into Roxanne's area for like five, ten minutes till someone told me. It was so tucked away. Pinball? 
Mark, what uh, you got? Security Breach. Security Breach is a video game that I played on launch. <laughs> I like how there's a recap before you go into your... <laughs> so Security Breach came out 2021. <laughs> yeah, I took like five minutes to install it, and then I started playing. <laughs> Um, I thought it was I thought it was cool. I really really enjoyed the game. I fell in love with it. Well, at the start, the daycare, and then I entered the atrium. Then I entered the atrium. <laughs> and, getting uh, too specific, a, I feel like. I fell down from there. Fell down from there. Didn't really like it that much. Mm-hmm. Uh, took me a few days to beat it because I'd forced myself to play it, and and it was good. The ending was fine. The ending was cool. I like the different endings. I'm gonna give it like a s- six. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm being generous because I like five minutes of Freddy's. So. Mm-hmm. Unlike some other people, right? Your your floor, Johnny. What did you think of security? So, after oh, playing no. Ruin, it definitely. Do- I know. What is Jarn Block's opinion on? What's he gonna say? <laughs> after playing Ruin, it definitely does make me realize just how, on hindsight, maybe I gave Security Breach too much <laughs> love and affection. I still really <laughs> like the game. Uh, I would have probably given it like a seven, which is what I've given Ruin. Um, Security Breach main game, yeah, it's probably, it's not that much slower. I still really enjoy it. I do think if I had to choose only one FNAF game to replay that I could only play for the rest of my life, it would probably still be Security Breach, especially since Ruin is involved with it now. But I'd probably give it like a six. I don't know. Okay, so average six is all around for Security Breach and anything above seven for Ruin. Yeah. That's what we got. Maybe someone's a bit low that for Ruin, good. but I did run into a few bugs myself, mainly okay. probably because I had the graphics on, like, the highest possible thing. <laughs> so my load times were, like, off the charts. Uh, some <laughs> Someone called me out on that in the comments, and I was like, I mean, you're true, but, like, I want the highest graphics. Did you manage to skip an entire section like Map Hat Game Theory? <laughs> no. God damn it, Map Hat from Game Dude, Theory. Dude, oh my god. I was so tilted when... <laughs> Him and Tom were like, you know, guys, I think we've got to skip a whole section for the entire rest of the video without bothering to go back and check and look. <laughs> and I think they still haven't even done that for the stream. They've probably yeah, gone back it. and looked at it on, on their own. I think it would have been so funny if, like, the newest game theory was, like, there's here's a lot of unanswered questions, and those questions got answered in that section. He called it out in the video. <laughs> He was there like, was so oh much... yeah, apparently we skipped a whole section that had the juiciest of lore. Yeah, there was so much lore, like the, it was, it was, uh, Roxy's area, right? Mm-hmm. There was all the Gregory missing posters and basically Cassie's backstory. Mm-hmm. And he skipped it. <laughs> he skipped then, it yeah. all. And then it's the rest of his playthrough, he's like, how do these two know each other? Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> right. these <theories> about <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what was that one clip on Twitter where he was talking about the green color? And it was like... Charlie's green, and everyone's freaking out because whenever you bring up Charlie, or <laughs> so, you know, yeah, people love modern <laughs> theorists, right? Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> let's go. Um, speaking of theories, we've gotten kind of our general thoughts out of the way. Uh, one of the topics we kind of briefly touched upon was the endings, and I kind of want to jump straight to that because I feel like that's one of the more intriguing parts of the lore for Ruin. It is. So, it is. fellas, do they canonically go to Brazil? <laughs> um, I think I think someone put it best. Isn't it? It's a reference to the movie. Right, you know the movie I'm talking about. The do you want to tell movie. the movie spiel about <laughs> what the Brazil ending is for people who oh, yeah. weren't, who were born after 2000? <laughs> um, from what I understand, it's you have created this false fantasy world that's great when you're an agonizing you know, like in a bad situation. That's how the movie sort of ends. And then, you know, Cassie... What movie is this? Brazil. The movie's titled Brazil. At least in some some decades ago. I don't know. Some dec... Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> sure. That's cool. obviously what Steel Wool was going with. That's why I said anyone born after 2000. <laughs> listen, listen. Uh, I'm just I'm just going to off of uh, Paco 6. 1985, no. Ben Paul. <laughs> oh, 1985. Oh, is that the date? Is that That's the, the date? date. <laughs> obviously not. It must have released June 26th as well. Now, nope. <laughs> um, It'd be I think I think there's a possibility it's based it's from the U- it's or, British, or it's just oh. a complete <laughs> joke name, or it's a joke name. It bombed at the box office. <laughs> so what you're telling me is it's just the cope ending where she just copes. Yeah, copes and she's just she lives in this magical fantasy world where she's like, guys, I got it okay. It's me, Gregory. Um, yeah. 
now let's move on to the other two innings because that one was just sort of a joke ending. These two like are that, important. I did like that Fred Bear was uh, what started the the, the, the 70s Fred Bear cutout. Seventy Fred Bear cutout. That was cool. If it was Freddy, I wouldn't care. Um, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Dude, ouch. Way, to, way to call shots at my man's Freddy. <laughs> the main man, Freddy Fazbear, is gonna smite you Fred down. Now talk Fred about the other two. Uh, the floor is yours, Johnny. Uh, okay. <laughs> you have to talk about one of the remaining uh, two endings. <laughs> well, I'll take the Brazil ending. Wait, that, no, we should talk about that one. No, you literally. <laughs> I was still looking at a Wikipedia page. Uh, the scooper <laughs> ending, fellas. Obviously, okay. obviously, the scooper ending. It has the scooper. As it looks, I exactly like it does in Sister Location, of course. <laughs> and it also, it mimics Mimic. the, the the Burn Trap ending, guys. Did you see the parallels between the... It does look that. just like yeah, it. I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah, I saw that. So my theory about the scooper ending is that, obviously, we it's the scooper. It's... <laughs> I thought yeah, it was yeah, a very great. underwhelming ending. <laughs> I think oh, really? all the endings were kind of underwhelming. I thought um, what? I thought the I thought the can the one that the main one that everyone else just got say the canon cool. ending. Can, I thought the, the canon can. ending. I thought the canon ending was cool because it builds up throughout the whole game and you're like, oh my god, this is what was actually happening. And then right, the big but, thing happens. And then but Gregory where it, betrays you. I Gregory. That was kind of cool, but I kind of wish it. <laughs> you know, just didn't end in a. <laughs> Maybe the main thing was that it said elevator crash like five whole seconds before it actually happened. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, did your subtitles frick up? I did. No, I it, it's too. always like that. The The subtitles at the oh. end of that game, which is why everyone's like, did Gregory actually betray them or was it the mimic? Yeah. The subtitles are delayed. So they mm. <laughs> they happen a bit before the actual audio happens. They just frick up. That, that kind of sucks, I yeah. guess. Which is why well, at some ways. point there's two overlaps of Gregory dialogue because it's <laughs> out of sync. You know what? We didn't put that down, but we're gonna have to talk about that. What? We we uh, if that, it's Gregory like, or the mimic. I don't think we have Gregory to. I mimic. think it's clearly Gregory. Um. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. There's there's two ways. You to know look what? At that. You should you should if even one if of if one it, of the pieces of evidence is the two stacking dialogue, that that's not, not solid evidence. I'm there's not. there's two other things that people use as evidence, which you should explain, even if you don't believe it. Um, I should me... explain. No, Mark. Oh, so sure. Okay. So when you're charging this elevator, right? You're charging the elevator with the with the little things, right? As the mimic is chasing you incredibly slow. Guess what is right <laughs> below that box, that thing you saw? It is it is a battery, right? And to there's just a battery. So you walk in and then and then Gregory tells you, "Sorry, Cassie, got to let you go." And so what the mimic could do is he could just unplug it. Cassie falls straight down. <laughs> and you just that's, plumb it. The the that's one a of the main points that's a baseless um, assumption though. It's just, One of the main just points giant is the box assumption right next to the mimic that powers the box. Yeah, one uh, of the main it, points of assumption is that Gregory cannot drop your elevator, but the mimic can. Because he's right next to what powers. It. That's the mimic's explanation. Then you have Gregory. Gregory, it's called Gregory in the Fives. Uh, yeah. Versus Greg. and that's a that's a big thing. Even though, uh, like, um, there's a couple things files that have went badly on Switch. Burn Trap's called the true ending, even though it's Princess Quest. Oh yeah, we haven't even uh, talked about that. I, that's what I thought this category was. It's talk about which of those endings was canon, not this one. True. And then, you know, there's Cassidy was called the princess and then it was removed, so that's questionable as well. Um, So I think it's still up for debate. I think it's still up for debate. You can make basis claims like I Wait, did. Wait, what was with, the second the evidence? Minutes. Oh, um, What do you mean the second? You said there were two. Oh, there's, you're, there's you're, a few You said the power box? Okay. There's a few there's different one. evidences ranging from evidence to cope. <laughs> Some other ones I've heard are okay. just want the, the speaker. Though. The speaker twinges out right around the end, and then Gregory shifts like tone. So it's like the mimic took over mid speaking of Gregory. At that, though the files, though the files say Gregory, not yeah. Grimic. And at that and the point, for that, the, the mimic's already getting all glitched out. So him going like completely like normal again with his dialogue. Mm. Eh. The cope for that one is why would they ruin the. Sp why would they spoil the ending? You gotta wait till the next game to figure out what happened. <laughs> no, it's just the I, ending. That's the cope for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's major cope. I think it's Gregory. But there's I think Gregory argument. betrayed us. I don't know yeah, if he Gregory, cut the elevator, but he I did said. intend to leave yeah. us. Yeah, he yeah, he was he was gonna leave us no matter what. But who cut the elevators of her debate? Okay. 
Though so, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why people ignore Gregory and Vanessa have so much control over the pizza plex that they could probably still have just dropped that elevator. Yeah. So my whole thing was, <laughs> it's Gregory talking on the intercom, but it switched yeah. to. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Whatever. <laughs> Princess <laughs> quest ending. No, I don't care. Yes. Frankly. <laughs> Oh my god, when when the when the Freddy Fazbear birthday song came on. <laughs> and then the Princess Quest theme in the yeah. long tunnel. I was not expecting such a direct confirmation uh of endings. I thought they were gonna keep that very locked down, but no, they pretty clearly outlined Princess Quest happened. All these other yes. drawings are just drawings by Gregory. Uh, how yeah. how do you guys feel about getting such direct confirmation uh, with that ending? Do you think this it fits? Was, oh, this was great. I think it's great. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it's a little odd that you know the fully animated one. Not not canon. Anymore. We'll talk a bit about burn trap ending. We will well, still need to do that. True, true. I mean, there's an argument made that it's both, but I thought it was very cool that the princess quest ending was given. So, like, there's a sword in the princess quest. That was three cool. bars. That was very cool. And then uh, there's. The, there's the uh, stuff on the wall as well. Mm -hmm. I thought it was cool. I thought it was very the glitch cool. Trap I, I missed all of that on my first playthrough. I walked <laughs> right by it and did not put the mask on you in didn't that put room. the mask on? Doesn't it automatically no. have it on because you need to go through the tunnel? Or maybe yeah. I, I bet I immediately took it off and just looked around. <laughs> That's then, funny. Um, uh, see, yeah, it is awesome that they confirmed Princess Quest. And I feel like, uh, you know, dates back to that old Scott quote that he makes things way more clear in the next game with clues. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, I've seen people wondering if Burn Trap was intended to be the true ending all along. A, a, a lot of people are making points of whether this was always going to be the way and then they kind of changed it. So I'm not sure if because of the Burn Trap true ending stuff is, is really weird, but it's Princess Quest. Mm. So I can't tell if they changed which ending was going to be canon or if it was very poor execution in Security Breach with the initial endings. You know, I think there's definitely put, an argument for that. They put a lot more like you can feel a lot more like true ending intention mm -hmm. in the burn trap ending because it's the but one where you see after all the animated and, crap. and you get yeah all the animated cutscenes and yeah the blob tangle. <laughs> That's the only thing I think in in around this era that could have actually been changed. Everything else, it, it feels like this has been the plan all along, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So one thing that really, I just remember it when I when I we were talking about this, the blob shows up for like one second mm. in ruin. <laughs> do you yeah. think they should have elaborated on him a bit more, or do you think he shouldn't have showed up mm. at all? What do you what do you I think? No screen time. What's the deal with with the good old blob man? Good old Tangle. Mark, you wanna you wanna you wanna spill? Sure. Uh, I thought the blob didn't really need a whole lot. Mm -hmm. I thought just his presence alone was very... I mean, he, they should have given him more screen time. Because like, I missed it during my playthrough. I yeah, I saw a lot of people It's miss very it. missable. It's so I, missable. I was, I, so I was watching Psychic Stream and I saw... I saw and it was... <laughs> <laughs> um, It was very missable. They should have given him more screen time. He should have been able to see it before he goes away. Right. Yeah. I thought that was the only thing. I, I don't think they should go into like his old origin. Maybe Tails is for that. We still Tails, Tails has been like we we um, ha, John, have you seen how if you re read through the epilogues of Tails, the word Tangle you, shows you up a surprising that. amount. I did see that you, on Twitter. So it's like probably the bodies and corpses and endos of a lot of dead stuff in the FFPS location. Mm -hmm. That's what the plot is. Probably, probably a lemonade clown. But <laughs> and no fruit punch clown too. Fruit punch, uh, that's right. And the neon jukebox okay. and gumball. Yeah, yeah, hands. yeah. All those yeah, guys. Yeah. Candy can um, read it out okay though. Candy can read. Even if um, the blob got very little actual screen time, it's really helpful for theorists that it got a bit of screen time because I guarantee you, if it did not show up in this game, people would think the burn trap ending that burn trap didn't exist and the blob didn't exist. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Because yeah. if we didn't know that one existed, you would think that the whole thing was just his imagination. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is a good question. If 
I'm going to say I feel like the Blob and Burn Trap did exist, even if the ending isn't canon. So what actually happened if the ending didn't happen as we see it? Mm -hmm. Any pitches? Any thoughts? Johnny, what do you feel about Burn Trap and the Blob? I think... <laughs> well, here's, the thing about yeah, me I'm is that I'm not. Question out to the the, the, the person who doesn't. <laughs> maybe do maybe full disclaimer to some people who maybe don't watch a lot of my content or just know don't know my general thoughts on the lore. I couldn't care less what happens yeah. with the lore. I've not read any of the tales books. I've read uh, the first frights book, and that's it. So Dude. lore is not really my discussion thing. <laughs> you read the trilogy too, guys. Yeah, you I did read the trilogy. Kind of relevant goaded. questions down for this. I didn't. For, for these these were all more. these were all pinballs questions. I just grouped them all together. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> good job then. Well, pinball, what do you think about Burn Trap and the Blob? What actually happened with them? In Secret Breach. I think if the Burn Trap ending did happen, it would explain why the mimic is missing the mimic. all the stuff the Burn Trap has. Right? Mimic. <laughs> I uh, <do> that. <laughs> we we're gonna make some might call it the bold claim that Burn Trap is the mimic. You could, you, say that. you could, well, you could make that claim. You could make that claim. I Actually, think not Johnny Lorehead. How do you feel? Is Burn Trap the mimic? Uh, well, the safest option I've seen from Twitter is yes, guys. Obviously, mm -hmm. doy, <laughs> doy, yeah, <laughs> doy, <laughs> doy. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. take what Twitter says. It's it just right. seems like the safest option. Uh, from what I've Burn seen, is it not lines up pretty well. Or ruin. Yeah. Uh, right. Well, he does he does show up in in the comic strip, but yeah. You know. So, Mark, what are the scenarios that are possible with the burn trap ending? There's two scenarios. If it did happen, if it did it's happen, uh, there's always two. If it did happen, burn uh, as the blob reaches up, grabs burn trap, takes him out. It, it kind of destroys him. I mean, there's a fire going on. It, it probably, freaks him up. Destroy, mm -hmm. It kind of it really destroys him up. So it, all that's left is the base endo. Um, the mimic. And, then, and the somehow, mimic. I could guess that all of this caused an earthquake. So yeah, like, like all the seismic the activity caused an earthquake, and it led to all the stuff. That's why the peace box is just ruined. <gasps> ruined. <laughs> guys, that's like wait, 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 wait. You guys don't think that's why it's called the ruined DLC? That'd be True. crazy. True. That'd be crazy. That's crazy. I I mean I still don't like. The um, getting going from underneath Roxanne Raceway to the FFES location is now significantly larger than when it was before, mm. um, and that was interesting to me. There's this whole lake with red; it was, it was red for some reason. The, the lake is such a pretty area. It's so it's very beautiful. Cool. It's very cool. Wait, the lake was not; it was blue. It is it red? It was literally blue. <laughs> Mark. This blood's trying to be like, oh, is the or Mark? Are you no, trying to okay. say it's the OMC place? I, I know why place? he's saying it. I've seen what? some people try to connect it to OMC. Yeah. I, I, I thought is it, it actually red or are people coping? That thing's it? insanely blue. I can picture it. It is very head. blue. FNAF maybe the walls were blue, but maybe not the water. Maybe, maybe the, the water. yeah, the walls were red. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, maybe no, no. Maybe the walls are blue <laughs> and the water is red. I don't. I haven't <laughs> seen it since in three weeks. I think ruins are now for three weeks. I haven't seen uh, it. It's almost a month. Yeah. Three weeks. Okay. That's crazy. Fair enough. Fair enough. My bad. My bad, guys. There are no pictures on Google. <laughs> Shouts out of to Google. The Ruin Lake. Of the Ruin Lake. Ruin, Ruin Lake. Isn't Ruin that, uh, Cave. Isn't that the lake they canceled? I feel like I would have <laughs> remembered if the lake was red. If it was red. red. <laughs> yeah. If there was True. like a blood cave just right outside of mm. yes. A, um, a pool of blood from all okay, the limbs enough. that were lipped off, yeah. ripped off. <laughs> so. I think there's two ideas. I think there's yep. two nice ideas. Okay, so that's not what I said. Yep. But then there's also the idea that it just, that just didn't happen. And the storyteller made it up. Uh, the mimic. <laughs> the mimic. Um, <laughs> then the stuff below is what it truly did, what the environment truly was. And the mimic uh, just didn't create that. Hmm. The re Yeah, the really annoying part about that whole area is that... The collapsed entrance, like right outside of FPS, matches the cutscene very closely. And then you go to the burn trap rooms, and they're so tidy and neat. As if He's a tidy the guy. collapse happened, but then the rooms where the blob took him did not happen. Which, you know what? I mean, yeah, let's just say I I'm going to pitch 
what I think is probably what happened. Burn Trap did not freaking abduct, uh, or Blob did not abduct Burn Trap. It just kind of tunneled out, and Burn Trap took off the suit or whatever, and and is just the mimic down there till Vanessa and Gregory go harass it for a bit. Mm. I think that's a, I think that's a, that's a good case. Honestly, I think there's a chance that that happened. Maybe yeah. Gregory saw the blob and was like, "That Gregory. thing probably just, just murdered Burn Trap." <laughs> But why would it keep it down there? I don't know. Why why would he build this whole system? I think I think Gregory it's just dangerous. ran away. I I don't know how he got away with a one way elevator, but he somehow got away. It's okay. It's never been a one way elevator. Did you it's not never, play the game? Ever... Johnny, call this man out. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. They say it's a one way elevator, but in every ending, more than one person is able to take the elevator. <laughs> Roxy gets down there after we do. Every Glamrock shows up in the Burn Trap ending. I don't know what you want. You think they'd sit and wait in the elevator? <laughs> It'd be so funny Just to as imagine. The, as the, the music plays, do, 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 do. <laughs> Roxy's just Monty like, with no legs, just like jamming out. <laughs> Bobbing his head to the tunes. Dude. He hears a faz fat come on, he's like, Freddy. <laughs> Freddy. Freddy. <laughs> um... See, I think we got one more point for endings. If you guys are all set, okay, okay, with endings. Yeah. Uh, um, well, what about the scuba one? Did we talk about that a lot? We talked we, a we, bit about it. We kind of talked about it. Yeah. We'll we'll come back to the costumes when we talk about the mimic. The okay. mimic. The mimic. <laughs> Every time we say mimic, I will put on the Mr. Beast image of the mimic. <laughs> <laughs> and if that gets annoying, <sighs> deal with it. Then, yeah, deal with it. Anyways, point number five I thought was interesting for two reasons. Number one, um, it it uh, is our pitching point for how we think this is going to lead into the next game, Help Wanted 2, releasing later this year. And also, uh, Pinball put down, how does this affect FNAF into Madness? Now, I want to start off with that, because at this point, I think if people are <laughs> still saying Into Madness is coming out, there might be a little bit of <laughs> copium going on here, but... Why did Pinball, the, the stage is yours. <laughs> Hold on. Um, <laughs> he's, he's, got a, he's got to wind up it's, his intro it's here. salvaging <laughs> time. Time to salvage what he put. I have to salvage this. I have to salvage this. <laughs> um, I think there's a chance. I think there's a chance. Unless uh, Security Breach... Like here's, he, he said that in 2018. I think there's a chance Security Breach could be that. Security well, Breach was not into Madness. They, they, they right. were two different bullet points on the, on the mega thread. You do realize Wait, we have gotten on. into madness about... in the files at some point, right? That's do you know true. where we got into madness in, in the files? World. In Balloon World. Right. Does that not No, I know that I know that exists. But like this we're talking about a whole game here, fellas. Right. Just, well, why is it that that, that was announced in like five million years ago you know by what? Scott, who said he's he's done making FNAF at Freddy's games. True. true. I mean the AAA game isn't coming out yet. Triple A game, no shot. <laughs> no shot. True. Unless the does, movie does well and Universal is like, wait, let's let's, let's negotiate these AAA. these things again. Maybe, maybe we can go back. Mm -hmm. Does um does uh no no actually I I would wonder if Into Madness was in the Balloon World files. Does that mean whatever the the intent of Balloon World was 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 whatever Into Madness was, or does that mean you know the next arc the that Balloon Circus arc is gonna be Into Madness? Whatever that game is is gonna technically be it. Well, Into Madness was described as similar to Update Two with a whole bunch of separate mini games. You know what? You know what? The balloon stuff. I feel frick. That sounded great on the pod. <laughs> <laughs> the Balloon World stuff. I feel like l look at uh, the balloon characters and the circus characters. I feel like their aesthetic is really close to something that you could turn into a sort of FNAF World-like game. Bunch sure. of mini-games with them. So, putting Into Madness in Balloon World could turn into whatever that balloon game is, mini-game collection, whatever, with the circus characters. Hmm? Maybe? Sure, Never but, know? I mean, <laughs> that's the only thing going for it. it there's not a lot to, yeah, there's yeah. not a lot to go off of. Uh, there's a bit more stuff for Help Wanted 2, though. Oh, my God, Ooh. Help Wanted 2. Help Wanted 2. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be so cool, it's isn't so it? Peak. We should have a whole pod dedicated to Help Wanted 2 predictions the, and stuff. Dude, Sish Location? What can they, what can they do all I didn't mean right now, Austin. <laughs> oh, we're not talking about Help Wanted 2 right now. That's crazy. No, we, okay. we can talk about Ruin. FNAF at Ruin. Freddy's Ruin. 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 Talk about, 
ruin more. <laughs> uh, now, we, uh, hold on. We kind of skipped question five. Has FNAF gone to sci-fi? That oh. is four, but pop off. You know me, Mark Pinball. <laughs> <laughs> I do know Mark Pinball. She, she's right. <laughs> okay, let's let's answer that question. Let's answer that question. Is this... FNAF too sci-fi from its good old days of... Uh, of Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2. This is an age-old question, mind you. This was one that really popped up, I think, after Sister Location? Yes. Well, because Sister Location was the first big jump to, like, you know... Sci-fi. <laughs> Ooh, we're sci-fi now. <laughs> so, who wants to who wants to answer, has FNAF gone to sci-fi? Mark, you were very desperate to, to get onto this topic. So, clearly, you have some hot takes. I think, like Austin said, it's an age-old question. Uh, I think my only ever, I always thought people were like, eh. but when you had the ability to walk on air, to go through walls, <laughs> to walk, to walk through walls, really, I thought that was, it jumped the shark. Felix the shark. Mm. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Felix the shark, if you will. Oh my God. We're, we're so brain rotten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I thought the books. Jump the shark even more. I mean, you had uh, you had goo, goo made by children that could clone people and kill okay. the original host. The answer to the books is yes, they have gone yes. to sci-fi. Oh, so let's, let's, let's talk about the games, games, games. You video know. games, video games that we play. Um, uh, I mean, I guess, I guess the idea AI has gone off the roof for the series, but I think, I think it, I think yes, FNAF has gone too far in sci-fi. But I, FNAF has always been more supernatural and sci-fi, sort of at the same time. I mean, you had, in the 1980s, you had animatronics that could look at people's faces and figure out if they're a criminal or not. All right. Facial recognition. Which, facial recognition, facial recognition systems. systems. Which is crazy. I mean, that was not a thing in the 1980s. Back in FNAF 2. I Back guess FNAF, FNAF 2 was 2. a little weird. FNAF 1 and 3 yeah. stayed pretty mm -hmm. solid on just, like, sure. ghosts and stuff. I would sure. argue um, stuff like that was very minor. In the in the grand screen... Yeah. screen <laughs> The grand, grand scream of things. Scream of things. Uh, the everything before Sister Location was very realistic, and like you said, they have the minor stuff like oh, facial recognition in 1980s with these animatronics. Like that's a lot, you know. Um, yeah. But at the end of the day, it was usually almost always traced back to yeah, these these kids are just possessing these suits, and there was a serial killer, which overall was very realistic. But when Sister Location came out. It got a whole bunch of sci-fi. I think mm. uh, a bit after Ruin came out, I said that this is kind of like a another case of sister location where we've got, like you said, people walking through <laughs> walls, which a lot of people were upset about because that's another jump in, jump in the Felix the Shark moment with going towards sci-fi. So I'd argue it's kind of always been sci-fi, but back then it was in a minor way that didn't directly affect anything specific. But now it's like, it like has to be sci-fi. Yeah, which yeah. I uh, wouldn't say is a bad thing necessarily. Yeah, I was I was gonna say it it is sci-fi, but is that a bad thing? Because honestly, I got into FNAF around Sister Location, didn't hate it. I did it, and I've never really hated it. A lot of people like FNAF for its supernatural elements, right? Ghosts, haunting, hauntings, mm -hmm. spooky stuff, spooky. Uh, and then. And then everyone, well, I think FNAF actually got way more popular after Sci-Fi was introduced. Was this location? Yeah, yes. naturally. But, you know, keep that in mind. Original FNAF was was supernatural. That was at its core. It was hauntings, spooky stuff. Uh, and then as Scott, as the series went on, Scott had to create a storyline and, and stuff. I think it's not a problem. <laughs> make a story. I think it's make a story. He had to create a story actually. No, he had it all laid out from the beginning. Like, no, you know, obviously, the story. Obviously, obviously, true. The mimic was the thing in 2014. The mimic. Now, mimic. <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, Spill I think, out. I think it's not been a problem, like with Help Wanted Security Breach. That's not really been a problem. Uh, I think the only time it was ever a problem was walking on air. I think that's the only time it was ever truly a problem was walking on air in Rome. <laughs> You think well, sci-fi was only you, ever some... a problem then? 
That's I have true. some cope. I have some cope for you if you want. That is I, so that okay, gets remnant, two more heavy. Remnant, remnant has also been a problem because it's never really been explained in the games. Well, I think they keep and yeah, they keep bringing it up, and fans will deny book stuff. So you have to kind of explain it a little. Bit. At the end all of the day, um, in its simplest form, I think the reason why people try and dismiss that stuff is because it's not realistic. You know. True. Hmm. In a in a way, yeah. <laughs> like being injected with. And also, what, what molten metal what liquid is, stuff? Is it molten metal? You, it we're not. FAR we're not doing this question. We're um, not. I'm. You I'm know a lot about FNAF AR. You're. It's, you're not. You're not. It's got. It's got the, is, Are you? It's. I'm just gonna say it's memories of a soul. Uh, taking using metal as a con as like a sort of conduit. I can see the cause. It can be souls, memories, setting. emotions, and it just says life power. Stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, it can be all yeah. those things. Oh, brilliant! Oh, so yeah. It, it has an explanation in any situation. Oh, how wonderful is yes. that? Yes, <laughs> yes, it's been all three. I... <laughs> <laughs> That's. Uh, I, that, listen, so some some remnant down. is more powerful than others. Uh, <laughs> moving on from Five Minutes of Freddy's lore, and let's okay. go back to Ruin, the one that Ruin. canceled. <laughs> cancel that one. Yeah. What what, what else bullet point do you want to go to next? I feel like we <laughs> wait. We didn't think? even explain how it went you know to help wanted to. <laughs> how do we How do we think that the events of Ruin are going to play out into the mm. new VR game that everyone's going to love? Help wanted to. Thanks. <laughs> Sales pitch. <laughs> Pinball. Yeah. I, 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 I who wants that. to Who wants to shoot their shot first? I'll shoot. Mm. Doesn't shoot. I no. I was shooting. You'll see in the vod. I think we will see. The Mexus program because he's already digital, mm. um, and I think we will see maybe the mimic again. <laughs> maybe, <Yeah>. maybe. <laughs> the only maybe. reason I'm it hesitant would be if is he because didn't show up again. Yeah, I do think he's going to show up again at some point. It would be freaking crazy to, to have him show up in ruin, it... get like five minutes of screen time, and then just kind of pee pee poof out of here. People sure. probably need to accept he's gonna show up in the next game. He's the new main villain. Right. Anyone only... who thinks Burn Trap's still coming back, they crazy. And he is probably Burn Trap. The only reason I'm uh, doubtful think... about Mimic is because he's physical. At least right. from my understanding. I don't know, there's probably some tail shit. Well, uh, well uh, nerd emoji. You'll, you'll, well, nerd emoji. Well. <laughs> well. You're still gonna have, you're gonna have Glitch Trap, which is just the Mimic. Right, but... well... Obviously, I meant the mimic as he appears yeah, in true. ruin. Okay, he'll think... probably not be in help on it too. Then, but do we think a glitch digital trap? AI, yeah. Dude, I don't think glitch trap is going to be in ruin. Uh, at least not in the same way. Because if they just do the same stuff with the tapes, that would be stupid. Uh, I think, I think, I think he could. I think glitch trap will probably make an appearance, some way, shape, or form. He'll, he'll look not different. Mimic, not the mimic endo from ruin, because again, this is a digital video game. He's gonna look a bit different we think right, right, right. you know what you know Plus, what they need we like more actually... iterations to sell merchandise so we can actually tie like this Tiger Rock. Please don't say we can tie like this Rock. into a different question which i will actually get to right now this this will help what was up with the plush baby room this this sure. question totally ties to this johnny do you i hated understand this how <laughs> do you I understand, understand how i thought it was i don't know why you listed this down <laughs> i thought it was I'll just... one of the stupidest questions on the bullet board <laughs> Listen, but here's, pop off here's queen. the point let, of it. Let him cook. I the know. point of it is that there's going to be a push from how it has been mimicking Afton up to this point as Glitch Trap to how from here we're going to go to this location, we're going to get circus themed stuff. The mimic is going to start being Circus Baby. That's what it's going to be mimicking in some way. Elizabeth, oh, John people, people love that. real about that. <laughs> yes. That I thought everyone can shit on John because of that theory. I thought that was the whole point. <laughs> I am almost certain that he had a bad conclusion or used bad evidence, but there is a push towards baby that we can see in the series. That is true. <laughs> uh, so when Blood was like, is that baby? No, that wasn't John. Who was that? No, I think it was Matt. Uh, I, he, there was like I mean, a bunch of I people that looked Matt at Matt Pat and John have a bit of crossover at this point. Yeah. All right. Someone said it was Ennard. Someone said it okay. was Baby. <laughs> okay. No. No, 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 no. It, okay. People saying that the Mimic Endo was Scrap Baby or Ennard. That's insane. But that it will start mimicking Baby. Mimic. That's not. <laughs> they were saying it's literally Ennard or Scrap Baby. That's crazy. Mm, he returns. Because they, they, their shit. endos, of course, look so similar, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, One's so similar. Big and yeah. beefy and Ennard bulky, like an eight foot. Ennard has an endoskeleton, right, guys? Mm. 
<laughs> cried myself to sleep the night MatPat said, what if uh, the Mimics entered? But what if? What if, guys? What if? What if? Like the hit Marvel television TV show. <laughs> I should do that with FNAF and just <laughs> screw everyone over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like what if Purple Guy was the phone guy? What if Foxy was a good guy? <laughs> What if, that would what be if, such a cool What series. if it was isn't all that, just a dream stories? and we've been in a coma for nine years? What if Charlie was a robot? What if Gregory was Charlie? <laughs> what if Gregory was not an evil person? What if Gregory was a robot, guys? How would, how would that change the story? So, I mean, technically, any... Gregory did end up being a robot. He was... <laughs> when we found him in Ruin, he... That's a robot. That's a, <laughs> that's a robot. So, that's er, a robot. actually, that was Gregory. That was Gregory. Gregory. He Other... did say pretty, pretty blatantly, "I'm Gregory." True. And he wouldn't lie. He would not. <laughs> that mimic fella. Yeah, he would not lie. Would anyway, not. other. Help where did the plush baby discussion go? <laughs> oh, it was just that the point of the room was circus baby's going to become a bigger part from here on like we're, we're moving past afton and there's gonna be more circus baby how do you come to that because the mimic is gonna be mimicking baby from an easter egg in a room. Yeah. <laughs> point half of help wanted like a bunch of cursed dread bear rooms are in like security reach like the plush the plushkin patch uh build a mangle and we don't we don't really use that for lore shit right <laughs> you know it's serious when the jazz use... hands come out <laughs> <laughs> We don't, we don't use it for lore stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah. now we see now we see Plush Baby come alive versus not being alive, uh, and now it has to tie to Elizabeth Circus Baby. Uh, I think it's just an Easter egg to oh my god from that one game. I don't for, think it's anything more from than that. Five Nights at Freddy's Top One available on Steam and Oculus and twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. It may just be an Easter egg, but I do still feel like Circus Baby Circus Baby coming. To the games, very powerful. Think, <laughs> very think... powerful. She's coming to the games. She's very She's powerful. coming to the game. I think. I think uh, all the Afton family storyline is done, and you know they have to introduce AI now and very do the stuff. Yeah. That we have. Elizabeth yeah. is probably mostly gone. Elizabeth, it's crazy I think, you phrased it like I think that. Everyone, I think everyone's <laughs> dude, gone. You dude. you took the most mogul male stance you could. Elizabeth. Probably maybe Probably gone. Probably maybe gone. You that's have not to a play stand. it safe. No, actually, I'm so used to just having to no, play it safe No, that's sometimes. why you gotta be like me and just say whatever, man. Just say it. She's gone. Elizabeth has moved on, but the mimic will be <laughs> Elizabeth has moved on, but... <laughs> but... but yeah, there's a slight chance. But... Well, Afton's moved on, but the mimic was him for a bit. Fellas. Burn trap. Fellas. I think... No. We've talked lore quite enough. It's almost an hour. <laughs> We've oh been talking God. about lore. How about we move on to some gameplay discussions? Because <laughs> okay. I mentioned it briefly. I thought the kind of puzzles and everything was kind of repetitive, just going from one area to the next, doing the same Among Us puzzles. Uh, what did y'all feel about the gameplay? Do you think it was innovative for FNAF? Do you think commenters, commenters pay attention? There we go. Um... I thought the gameplay. I, I I thought it was cool at the beginning. I thought it was cool. I thought it was very cool at the beginning. And then by Bonnie Bull, I was kind of annoyed with it. But then they would you know bring in stuff like Tiny Music Man Tiny to music make man. me to make to make me get back into the game. Mm-hmm. Those like every... guys might be one of the worst parts of the game. What? No, Tiny Music Man. Awesome. They're so evil. <laughs> They're so evil. That was They're the only so part of the game goofy. I had a problem with. They had the bunny ears, Austin. And yeah. Little stuff. Vain and reference. Bunny. One looks like yeah, the vain. sun. Spending reference. Yeah. Yeah. Um I don't know. The uh the stuff with your parent I thought it was I thought it was used well for the Monty Catwalks, sort of. But mm. I thought everywhere else it was I don't know. They, they could have done other stuff. They could have done other stuff. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. It was a primary mechanic. It wasn't that good. Honestly, it was so I okay, I did have a hard time finding some nodes, but I think I am also just stupid. Um, <laughs> yes. otherwise, like, I think there was just more, um, there was so much between each sort of progression puzzle that I didn't really hate them. Mm-hmm. There was enough to do that filled in the gaps. So right. I, I never really hated it at all. I'd agree. I think still, uh, I think because it was so linear, they kind of had to make that way. <clears throat> yeah. 
Um, but like I said, luckily there was some stuff to look at. And I mean, when you're going from entirely brand new areas to brand new areas, like even the old areas, they got remixed so much. Like there's so much to explore. Mm-hmm. That I it's, thought, yeah, it's it's so cool. It pounded that it was, pretty well. Yeah, yeah they, it was a good mix. Like every area mm-hmm. was very cool. Ruins. Ruin. Ruin is definitely a game you could play so many times, and every time you play, you find something new. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's true. true. That's there's so much cool stuff. Just they mm-hmm. just yeah. packed in there. Something I just remembered that I can't remember if this was confirmed or not to go anywhere, but the, okay. the chicas music box, not a music box, or not music box, Being voice frenzy. box, same box. Voice box. Yes, uh, voice box. Wasn't that the one we? <laughs> ruined <laughs> yeah that how do you guys feel about that because i feel like that was a very small minute detail that could go somewhere but i uh don't really have any evidence for that therefore i don't make bold claims <laughs> mm, well unlike you i make bold claims mm, love to hear it <laughs> mark you first though <laughs> ah, you, you first you first man first. You first. Okay. i was like i got all these okay. big bold claims um <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't change any endings of the game. It's just a thing you can do. And a lot of people really wondered on that, can you fix the other glam rocks? Um, yeah, yeah, you which... fix daycare attendant. No. Sorry, clips. Yeah. Sort of. Eclipse. You sort of fix them. Fix you do fix them. Sort of. Yeah, you do you, fix them. You, yeah. you, you reset them back to his child-loving uh, state. Ayo. Yeah, yeah, you know, he loves children. Now, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> now, <laughs> he could... That, that, you also fix glam rock chica. And then I feel like during the game, I I feel like during development, sorry, there could have been, you could have also had tried to fix Monty, who said, tragically passed away. Bro died, we and, can't fix dude, him. There is no fixing Monty. Dude, Monty got done so dirty throughout oh my both God. these games. He's like nothing he, anymore. He just goes, <laughs> and he's got like no suit. I feel bad for him. <laughs> You so he's evil. The mm. thing I heard online was that there was going to be plans to fix Roxy, give her back her eyes, uh, and and uh, as well as Monty, who tragically passed away again. And 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 that's why there was a fourth ending in the files. There's four endings, but we only see three. I feel yeah. like the fourth ending could have been something that happened if you fixed all it's of them. It's just an sure. empty thing. That's why everyone was like, there, where's the fourth ending? And then they couldn't find it because it didn't exist. Yeah, yeah exactly. I feel like... They just didn't have enough time, and they couldn't do it. it so they, it probably would have been like a variant of one of the pre-existing ones, but it just changes slightly if you have everyone on your side, sort of. Mm-hmm. Like imagine they all show up and just beat the crap out of the mimic instead of just Roxy. The mimic. If you fix them all, imagine that. That would have been cool. And then there's no more mimic, and then that's the canon ending. And yeah. All this build-up yeah. was for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll make a bold claim about Chica's voice box. Sure. It's not all for nothing, because Chica, prediction with no evidence, she will show up in a future game in some way, and she will speak. And that will be because, canonically, we did give her her voice box in Ruin. That's what, the idea. What it's just would, set up for Chica to speak later. What would be the point of that? I don't just think we're going to sincerely. The I don't think it we're going gives... to visit the Pizza Blacks for a very long time, Austin. I am not saying in the Pizza Blacks. I don't know. I. <laughs> <laughs> the more I this like goes this on, anymore. this is a very bold claim. <laughs> that Chica yeah. will show back up again and she'll speak. And that's because right. we gave her her voice box in Ruin. Yeah. Right, but the next game is VR. Because, like, right. what the hell? I do think, unless there was another DLC for SP, which maybe there is. Maybe there is. Maybe that's maybe. what Carnival is. Um, we. I find it unlikely we shall return to the Pizzaplex. I find it unlikely we uh, will see these characters, the Glamrock animatronics again. They, I uh, Go on. They just made us love Roxy. They can't not have her appear again. Like, as an example, I guess. But do you think they're really done with Roxy after what we just saw? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't... Really? Damn. Yeah. I do not see... I mean, how <sighs> else... Like is... I said, there might be another DLC where we... Because Roxanne at the end is like, Cassie, I can see uh, another DLC where there is, um... Who's going to tell Like, him? what? Is that the Mimic? It is. Is it? It is the hey, Mimic. Hey, no, 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 hold on. 
I America. love when Austin says something so certainly, and then Pinball is like, no. wait a second. I'll tell you why it's certain. I'll tell you why it's certain. Because you know how Gregory Walkie Talkie says the real one and is like t- explaining everything? Underlying that, during the mimic fight, the mimic pummels Roxy and steals her voice. You can hear it. Proof? What is the I've heard name the clip. of what is the name of the audio file? Does it say like that's okay. Rimic? Roxy. Yeah, it's a, it the, the Roxy. Roxy. Oh, Roxy. Oh, oh, it's just Roxy. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know. I said Roxy. Mm, interesting. Um, Blood does not. I, what I'm saying is that it does steal her voice during there. I, it it, ha- it does do that. I just okay. her. But is it? I don't know what the file that, that line I, is mimicked. I don't, I don't know. Do what we, the hold file on. Say. Hold on. I watched the, uh, the ending that everyone else did. I don't remember her voice being stolen where did you see that it's is so that... quiet while gregory the real one is walkie talking <laughs> us that. about like what is that well while roxy's getting beat the crap out of i've right, heard right. the audio file it's right God. but is it possible that it was just her in pain like no it, it you can hear the static it's stealing her voice the the jittery the mimics you know like cutting in okay. and out voice. i swear that's to god interesting. that's interesting so so roxy's dead monty died tragically and She's and chilling. Chica's probably dead. No, Chica, she passed out, man. She, she passed power. out. She she had a power. So all the all the Glamrocks are dead except for uh, you know even Freddy. Freddy's I, head is all wait, that's left. But Austin, how this goes directly against your point of you don't think we'll see Roxanne again after they set up all this emotional attachment? Because <laughs> they killed her. <laughs> but your was does. your was your whole point not we will see all the Glamrock? You just said. They set up all this stuff with Roxanne. Chica has her voice box back. Is this not going direct? And then they and then they actually kill Roxy, and it's the mimic in the ending. Yeah, that does actually go against it. Here, it's a big nothing burger, Johnny. It's a big. (laughs) I love FNAF theorists. There's no, there's no concrete stance. It's just whatever fits you guys best. He changed as a theorist in the last five minutes, Johnny. He is not the same person he was. Ten minutes ago, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> Would appreciate that. Mark, do you have any other one-off things about Ruin? Because have, have we gone through all the checklists? Uh, Ruin. Check. What do you guys? What do you guys think of Candy Cadet's return? Ruin. I love, love Candy, Candy Cadet. Cadet. Candy I did. So cool. I said it jokingly earlier, but I did want more representation of gumball swivel hands and all the clowns limiting fruit punch clowns um there was a there was another thing in the files there was going to be another showtime the freddy files the in freddy yeah the freddy files <laughs> no in the files for ruin there's going to be another showtime and it showed mm-hmm. uh showed the classics probably for some reason i don't know why the classics were there instead of the rock well, stars did you but are, are you, you talking, talking about... about you you go okay me okay. me no. <laughs> Are you talking about the uh, the early like scrapped version of the ending where you go into like you find the show stage with the classics and the mimic comes out of the closet? Ao. Hey, yeah. Okay. That's what you think the showtime was for? Because that would make sense. I, um, I I think that um maybe. Okay. Uh, hold on. I I listen. I I'll only saw. I, listen, I saw an. I saw an image online of just scrapped uh, Showtime. I didn't know any of the context behind it. Okay, well, so, there is like an out of bounds, uh, or some early version of the game. Can't quite remember. One of those two. Yeah. Um, hallways you go down in in the mimic fight, mimic, and you mm-hmm. find the a show stage with the classic FNAF one characters, but a lot of people are assuming those to be like placeholders because it was supposed to be the rock stars um and then there's a closet that the mimic comes out of a a mimic out of the closet he's coming out of the closet uh which apparently is something he does in the books but i don't know um yeah he does that i mean a closet probably no correlation congratulations I, yeah, there's no correlation. Really. There's no Between, there's, like, there's oh, does he, he, he stuffs he kills someone in a closet. That's there's no correlation. Uh, yeah, there's a girl. Let me he go back on my girl, notes. He pulls a girl into a closet. The girl never leaves the closet. It was simple like that. It was um, shrimple like that. It was just that shrimple. closet um, explanation. I have a link here. I okay. So, so do we think that was ending four? And it got Could have been. A different could, route or something. Could, could very, yeah, because there's already or just an early uh, attempt at an ending, but you never know. Yeah, they could have ran out of time. I maybe. I, well, that would 
if here's the thing. I think that would have been great because that would have meant they had to have gotten the rock star models from Scott. I don't feel like those were going to be the rock stars under any scenario. Why? Because Cause... that's not FFPS. We saw FFPS in... Well, okay, it's the building, but it's not the main stage. We went to the main stage. They're not on it. There's two. Which they... Pr I mean, right. odds right. are so, um... we see in Tails they get just you know, destroyed by a fire and cleaned so, up at the start we of it. So we saw what was kind of left of FFPS, right? In, in Security Beach, not in Ruin. Uh, and then and then there's an earthquake, and they all fall down, right? So the Rockstars could have been there. He's gotcha. Uh, He's gotcha. Maybe. A lot... Okay, I saw another theory that it could have been... I don't know what would have been there, but it would have been the Mimic recreating Showtime from Help Wanted. That was, that was the other uh, idea. That it was just recreating that. True. And he was like, this is uh, my past life as yeah. Glitch. As, as <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Guys, I was Glitch the Guys, whole time. I am not me. I am Glitch. <laughs> <laughs> that could be interesting. Um, could be. Could be. Austin, any other topics for Ruin? We kind of went much by these quick. How time we got? We've been going for about an hour. Uh, the the one we have to do. There's I, I see a few that we... There's three main ones we haven't done. Do you sure. want me to just list them and you can pick? Sure. How do we feel about Cassie? Uh, how do we feel about the books dominating the lore? And how was the mimic executed? Which one do you want to do? Mark, Two of pick. those tie together. Uh, how do we feel about Cassie, guys? Uh, well, let's okay. Cassie. 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 We'll save the other one for the end. True. Yeah. Cassie. Cassie's the best. Yeah. The prompt was, how do we feel about FNAF's new protagonist? So, someone, someone shoot. Cassie. So, I think Cassie, Cassie is probably the best FNAF character we've had uh, in a hot while. Yeah. True. Cassie was very cool. Mm -hmm. Gregory's evil now and we all hate him. Yeah, True. we hate Gregory. Gregory's a rat bitch of a child. <laughs> 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 but Ka all he my homies hate Gregory of... now. He has we, killed we, upwards we got of five Cassie. people. Do you realize that? <laughs> yeah, he dude, he's a little little <laughs> be careful he's, he's a little down. dude he's a little guy <laughs> he's a little guy he's a hey, little, guy. little fella hey, little guy. Guy. <laughs> and then um, cassie's like man i just want to find my friend we should call the cops yeah yeah she i love nice. carrot cake if is not that cassie or roxy that uh, is cassie she loves carrot cake oh yeah she likes carrot cakes um, it is very it is very sad how they portrayed her backstory because nobody showed up to her birthday <laughs> that's true <laughs> Zale. And then and then Gregory did, but he's evil, so we don't care. Yeah, we don't care. Um, yeah, she's a cool protagonist. No one showed up to her birthday. Like, if you don't complete the happiest day, then no one shows up. And then a. True. Oh, oh <laughs> because True. she's cat. Because she's because she's cat. Cassidy's Cassidy's nuts. That's Cass so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot. A very cool thing. I think we just kind of didn't realize was going to happen with this new era of FNAF is that we now have you know, fully modeled humans with a lot of voices, which people can f fan canon all they want about, you know, Mike and Jeremy and, and William and all the old characters in Scott's era, but he yeah. never did humans as well as we're going to see humans here. Because he can't you know, model humans. He couldn't model humans. He could get, he, <laughs> he did really good voice stuff, but we're actually seeing them now and, and they got personality. Mm. Yeah. Speaking I, of awesome. personality, personality and Cassie, this doesn't really Cassie. I guess just speaking oh, about yeah, Cassie. That wasn't good. There are a few... Uh, this is going to go into another lore discussion, which I might not be happy about, but whatever. A okay, few we'll name drops about Cassie's father. Ooh, Do you think... Uh, I've seen some people think that he's going to be the protagonist in uh, Help Wanted 2. I've seen some people speculate he's a who megalol and <laughs> doesn't really matter. It's probably some people who think it's like... William or Mike or some other other people. <laughs> what are y'all's thoughts? Okay. I think he's some dude, and it's just a red herring. That still was trying to make this people theorize about. This is huge. New I characters. think crazy bold beliefs. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh oh. When underscore opens his mouth. Um. He. There's no way he's just a red herring because we have a Fazbear engineer who gets called away for a while. And we don't know why. At the same time when Fazbear has a ton of crazy crap going on. Like the Peaceplex falling to ruin. A lot of people thought that Help Wanted 2 was going to be like a 
technician training program. And then they, they you know, get in the VR and, and uh, do freaking technician work at such location as practice. That's probably insane, but he's probably not pointless. And it would, I don't know if he would, it would be cool to see him as the protagonist. That would be sick. He's, he's also been in uh, Fazbear Entertainment for a while. Because they mentioned uh, that he was in, I was going to say in operation, like he's a robot, which who knows, maybe, maybe he is. He mm. was around uh, even back when they originally had Bonnie around. Oh, yeah. I, I, I never really saw uh, all the lore. I never really saw all the stuff that was with her father. I only saw the, I'll be back later. I left I left money for food. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Well, dude, what happened to you? Sorry, I'm pulling Dude's getting flash quick. grenade. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm pulling some lore up for you, okay? Uh, anyways, quickly move move on, move on, move on. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Asi's father uh, was definitely uh, not a FNAF two fan. Anyway, mm. dude, he didn't. Love he... <laughs> he loves bunnies. He's probably Love been bunnies. working there at least four years. Hmm. I'm so glad we uh, waited on that. Thanks. Wow. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, don't ask me. You, Pizza Plex was open for like four, about five, five or so years. It five, five years, because there's like quarterly mag. There's nineteen quarterly magazines. Don't even start with quarterly magazines. What do you mean? Okay, they add up to four point seventy five years. Uh, I don't remember where they were, but you know, nineteen of them all stacked in one chair. Uh, so Pizza Plex is open for like five years. I don't know how long the difference is between Ruin and Pizza Plex. Probably a year or less, is what we think. Maybe, maybe. Anyways, yeah, guys, that we woo. have two things. Yeah, we have lore. two things. Yeah, lore. 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 the okay book. How feel? How feel about book? book. How feel about mimic? Mm-hmm. Which I one? Know how Johnny's, Johnny's book. I want to hear. I want to hear Johnny's you know opinion on the book one. Okay, so how do you feel, Johnny Blocks? About the that book? you do have to read the books to know the lore. I feel like this is a hot take, but I really feel like it shouldn't be a hot take. That you shouldn't need okay. books to understand the lore of a video game franchise. <laughs> right, I I right. understand at That's this fine. point. I understand at this point. FNAF is no longer just about video games. It's got books. Ooh. It's got a movie. It's got uh, Fredibles. <laughs> Fredibles. <laughs> and I think yeah, the books really should have just been for filling in extra bits of lore in the past that didn't get explained, which was what apparently. Frights was supposed to be. And then the games uh, would look towards... Austin, can I please just talk for five minutes? Sorry. And then the games would look towards the future. Right? That, that was Scott's... That's literally what he wrote out. But right. I think introducing books that are a necessity to understanding... Like, if you play Ruin and you've never... Exp- if you, you have no clue the Tales books exist, you'd be so lost. You'd be so confused. Who the hell is the mimic? Mr. Ooh, Beast yeah. reaction. Um, I really, really do hope after Tales they at least make. They're probably going to keep making books. They sell insanely well. Mm, I really yeah. do hope they go back to like uh, condensed trilogies or just stories that don't directly connect to anything else. That's what my hot take. I'd read that, dude. I loved the Charlie trilogy. A trilogy would be so cool. I loved yeah, the at this trilogy. era, it the would be second, so sick. the second, frights and tales was like, oh yeah, read these to to understand the lore. I dipped out. I couldn't care less. I don't want to have to I read. Know. I don't know how to read. True. Anyways, right. Austin, what were you uh, yeah. to say? Oh, I... hmm. Yeah, we're on so, the floor. Okay. The books. The mimic. The books. Uh, um, in retrospect, I will, I will, I will admit, Frights was poorly executed. I will say that. I have loved Tales in a way, but that's not the question. It's not how we love it or how it's executed. In what it's, way should you need books? In what Frites way was Frights poorly executed? Uh, Frights was poorly executed because there was only five books they were meant to be made, and they're all good. Every story in books one through five are good, right? Uh, I, I think you have knowledge on some of those stories. Besides mm-hmm. Into the Pit. Uh, they were good. And then Sky decided he wanted either, one, to make more money, or two, he wanted to continue the epilogues. And to continue the epilogues, he had to make a lot of stories. Mm-hmm. A lot, a lot of stories. And some of them were good, like what we found, Springtrap, uh, Guy, 
What what did we find? We found Ruin, Johnny. Ruin? Oh, wait, that's the one they canceled. <laughs> that's the one they canceled. But then there were some bad ones. Like uh like sea bonnies, unfortunately. <laughs> like like he told me everything. I stopped reading Frights at seven. Did he tell like, like seven, like dude? Pete, like a pizza kit. Uh and the one where a boy turns into a traffic sign at the end of the story. <laughs> he doesn't do that, all the skin melts off of him. Oh, okay, my uh, bad. You're telling me he doesn't turn into one of those kids at play signs? <laughs> that was the whole thing, I thought. Yeah. God damn it, I hate It'd be that. crazy if I was wrong. I hate Five Nights at Freddy's. Who would like Maybe to he say does, I, I don't hate know. Anyways. So, so anyway, by the, end, by the end, you had bad stories that were only made to continue on the good epilogues. And then and then they, it ended. It ended. And no one was satisfied, and everyone hated it. But Scott brought it back with Felix the Shark. And then a couple years later, a couple years later, he releases tales that are he tries to actually try to fit into the games. They're not filler for most of them besides Ali's game. And he actually tried with them. I feel like he was more directly involved with tales than with frights. Yeah. Because yeah, absolutely. Um that's about it. Uh, and I think that's why they had a more quality control, but that was unfortunately why they were more directly connected to the games. So you yeah, had I... to actually understand it. Yeah, what it's floor's all yours. What if I... TLDR what you just said. Yeah, I appreciate the timeline though. <laughs> yeah. Uh the point is that Frights it uh, he teased Frights by saying fill in the games with these books. The right. problem is most of Frights and I don't mean the main stories cuz a lot of them are very pointless and past like 6 you don't need to read a lot of the main ones. But even with the stingers which was the big lore, you for, for someone who just wants to understand the core of the games, you don't really need Frights. Right. Ultimately, all it does is say, here's a sixth secret victim, which was teased in UCN, and here's the fate of William, which you could have said he's perma-dead anyways, per UCN. So that set a very bad precedent for Tails to then 180 and be like, Oh, everything here's important. You you need this really badly. While Frights, you can just kind of pushed to the side under the rug um was that a good thing or a bad thing uh mr underscore it it has i will admit do the execution it's been a bad thing because to, for, for the execution to to need books to understand the lore has been a bad thing it has been great to get more but for m most people it's been bad especially when i would say a lot of people are conflating how they like it, aka, yeah, yeah, people, not everyone likes the books being canon, but then it goes really bad when they will not accept them as canon because they don't like them. I feel like a lot of people are conflating not liking the book lore to thinking it's not canon. Johnny? I don't, I don't. I Johnny? think a factor of that is also just the simple thing of, again, just not wanting outside influence on something that usually for the past couple of years has been pretty you know just in the games themselves i think yeah. a pretty big factor of that is just you know keeping everything tight-knit it's, it's it's gatekeeping the lore from other gatekeeping of the series. gaslighting and girl bossing, and girl bossing. <laughs> the entire five nights at freddy's lore uh, okay i think there's another question which one do we mm -hmm. not do the there, okay, the last one. What? What was it? What was, was it? it not the antagonist? How the the like... last, the very last question. Oh, which how do we feel about the? Ex uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, yeah, like it, it, this. This one does tie in as the ultimate question. An exam. The best example of how someone feels about the execution of tales is how do you feel about the execution of the mimic? Because it is the first character, I think, at this point ever to have first showed up in a book yep. and then showed up part of the games mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so how do we feel about the execution of the mimic because that's going to weigh heavily on how you feel about the books right book i mean there are some people that are like, and, oh hell yeah and, and johnny should definitely answer like, oh come on <laughs> oh, marco's on a roll he's not on, the warhead man, i mean you had people like phil fizz not you Ooh, had, we don't uh, did don't, not, don't go no, too no, hard I'm just on saying, this no no he didn't like it people <laughs> like Fizzle. you had uh people like isaac the baddest he, did, he didn't like it either. Isaac Cringe. Like Isaac Cringe. There was a lot of people that didn't like it. I'm and not then there were people. 
And then there were people who did like it, who did like it, who were screaming, oh, a psychic saw it, and he went, oh my god. Uh, but there were also other people, like Markiplier, who had no idea who that was, who were just yeah. kind of asking themselves, and he said, I think Matt Pat will figure it out. And then there were people who said, oh, that's Scrap Baby. Oh, that's, that's, I nerd. Um, that's Freddy. So, well, that's Freddy Fazbear, is it not? There was a wide range of emotions seeing the mimic, from extreme yeah. awe to what is this. Mm. Yeah. So, Johnny, what do you think of the execution of the mimic? I because you you did you did know briefly who it, what it was. You didn't know that. I did know about the mimic. I knew very brief yeah. things about the mm -hmm. epilogues, how he like ripped off the limbs, and he which went, would help went, someone. Rah, ha, ha, ha. I'm the mimic. <laughs> And I'm very powerful, and I'm coming to the games <laughs> this and July. And he came to the games. <laughs> and he came he to came. the games. It was weird how he named, like, name dropped July 25th, and I was like, oh, that's, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> 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 By Steel <Wool> Studios. <laughs> um, I honestly forgot the question. <laughs> the question was, how do you how feel do you... about the execution of the mimic in the games? Yeah. Uh, started in the books, came to the games. How do you feel about that? I how think... How did you like it? Did you not like it? It does open up a bit of can of worms, because... Mm. Well, I mean, anything from the books can come into the... We could see Rose. We should have seen Rose. We could we see... We should have seen Rose. Um, I remember on my bingo checklist, actually, for Ruin, one of the points was stuff like Rose and Haps and Glamrock Ballora and, you know, A lot other... of people really wanted to see the tree. The I tree. I that was, that saw and Tom tweeting about the tree a whole lot. The tree? <laughs> it's like, tree. Yep, that the is a tree. tree. You were connecting a tree and a tree. <laughs> um, the Mimic in particular... I do think he was, for the most part, executed pretty well. I think there were some people I saw who were completely convinced, oh, yeah, we got to go help Gregory. And then towards the end, we're a bit iffy. And then there were some people who were like, oh, yeah, obviously this is not Gregory. And I think were that... Were there actually people at the end that thought it's still Gregory? <laughs> it's like, Gregory looks a bit Dude, different. No way. Like, lost a lot of weight, grown a lot, <laughs> taller. <laughs> um... But yeah, I think for the most part, the execution was very well. I'm intrigued to see if they do pull more from the books. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else from that. <laughs> would you have been disappointed or would you have been confused and lost and not have liked it if you didn't know generally what the mimic was in the books? Like if you had zero instead of like 30 knowledge of, of what was in the books. I think that's just... Mean? Like, naturally, yeah. Because, like, yeah, you would have been who the frick is this Endo guy? Mendo? Endo? Because <laughs> every, every... The cool part, I, I'm going to say I loved it. Because, of course, anyone who has read Tales fully will love to see him pop up in the games. It, mm. It's sick. It's terrifying. Especially when you've read seven tiny stories of him uh, murdering uh, upwards of 18s. And they're just... <laughs> Gra it's graphic it's so graphic mm. and to see him show up is like oh no it's about to get bad and then he just kind of slowly walks past you meandering kind of toward the you, dude who's known yeah. to rip apart everyone he sees <laughs> brutally it just kind of -da -da -da. <laughs> but the the fact that there's a jump scare for the mimic is so it's such a terrifying implication I yeah. thought the little cloth like. on his head was like little emo hair. <laughs> and it then I think like it was Springs stupid. who pointed it out on Twitter. I was like, oh, that's a piece of cloth. <laughs> that's <laughs> so not his funky looking. little haircut. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark. Yeah, oh, yeah, Mark. Did you oh, give your The mimic. The mimic. The mimic. Um, I thought, in retrospect, he was, it was pretty cool. I mean, it kind of said, it kind of, in retrospect, it was kind of cool. But as I was playing it, I thought uh, I still thought it was cool, but how it was set up for the vast majority of everyone, I don't think it was a good idea because, again, all of its knowledge of what mm. this thing is comes from the books. How it was sealed away, how it would kill people. And then people went in expecting to see Gregory, and they saw a robot. I do Grand think that chased, if there were... that chased you very slowly. So... Good and bad depends on how involved you are with the multimedia parts of the franchise. I do think the general audience uh, would probably receive it negatively. Right. Just because, who is this guy? You're telling me all the other past versions of Afton aren't actually him now? Oh, this guy's dead now? <laughs> I like it's, it's a lot to put on just a general 
fan. Right. And I think if there were tiny little sprinkles of, hey, this is the mimic. Why are you doing the Spock hand? Because I want, I'm raising my hand. Sure. Well, yeah. Why is bro, why is bro doing, bro, doing, doing, bro's doing this? Bro's doing the Spock yeah. hand. Go yeah. on, go on. No, 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 no. Are you done? I guess, yes. Austin. You guess you're done. Four. He ended your rant with the Spock side. I feel like, and I and you're going to have to correct me to how you feel. You're I don't know. Where, okay, Help Wanted 100% set us up to think this is Afton. I do believe that at some point it was supposed to be a big twist that, oh, this isn't Afton. It is an AI robot. But it probably wasn't supposed to be so far along that it was in ruin. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, like, I'm going to assume that the mimic sort of reveal that it was not Afton was probably more supposed to be a big reveal in Security Breach. And the poor execution of, like, communication between Scott and Steelwall probably messed it up a bit. And that's why Ruin had to really step in and kind of correct like Scott does with with the intent not coming across clearly, but that did take away from what could have been probably a really cool villain reveal, mm-hmm. twist, change, true. you know what I mean? True, true. They tried to do a right. bit of, hey, this isn't actually Afton with the whole, uh, oh yeah, we scanned the circuit board, so it's technically not Afton, but I think to, yeah. a, to an extent, there were still people who were like, oh, they scanned like the conscience of, of William. Yeah, that's all we had at the time, mm-hmm. really. Yeah. So... That is true. You kind of had to go more head candy territory than than you do now. Mm-hmm. So TLDR mimic execution was sick. Burn trip execution was not. Could have been sick, but it it was not. Uh, TLDR well done there. of ruin. Uh, pretty high score, better than SB. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some, some fair cool. fair gameplay. Some really cool areas to explore. Uh, the beautiful. mimic, stunningly the beautiful mimic. game. Cassie the goat. Uh, Maxis exists <laughs> cassie will return gregory it, they should have had like the marvel thing where it's like cassie will return <laughs> <laughs> i do actually speaking of that uh, something i did want to bring about the endings is it it feels like fnaf has gone into the marvel route where every installment now is just kind of teasing the next thing the like next uh, security yeah. breach endings were kind of unsatisfying because they didn't really close anything same thing with ruin it's just teasing the next thing you're waiting for an actual right. ending <laughs> yeah one ending wasn't really satisfying either mm-hmm. i mean glitch trap just goes into your head and that's it i think the, the last big ending we had was fnaf 6 yep. ucn yeah. was never supposed to be an ending ucn and doesn't we just end took it like it was <laughs> right. yeah ucn yeah. is not <laughs> an ending in retrospect <laughs> ucn is only the start <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was um, not made for the fans. It was made it's for the start of Fright, virtually. Mm. Is that it for yeah, Ruin, sure. then? Yeah, that's it for Ruin. It turns out that they didn't cancel it. Right? I, <laughs> they had me fooled. Is that the, they had us all fooled. The mimic. The mimic! <laughs> and, yeah, that is our post-thoughts on Ruin from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach 2021 by Steelwall Studios. <laughs> We'll have to jump on Help Wanted 2 some time. Help Wanted 2 so predictions cool. will go fire. I do have that oh video my myself, just on my predictions. So I'll probably wait into a pod talking about those okay. after my episode. But I do know next episode, we will probably talk about movie predictions, but not with these Ooh. chuckle fucks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It'll be uh, with two other very special guests from downtown. Two. Do you do you got who you can tell us? I will not I mean, actually, but thank you so much not. for asking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching another episode of the Blocks Talks podcast. Surely next episode will come out in less than six months this time. <laughs> Though if scheduling goes as rough as this one did, who knows? Maybe. And maybe if this video gets a ban billion likes, I'll release the scrapped. <laughs> episode three with special guest star david baron because that is at this point five well, months old three. you media. recorded an episode three with david was i there you what were was was certainly about? there what was it about it was it was about i don't remember movie prediction well it was kind of about no, movie sure. predictions but most of it was just kind of us it. talking about whatever so why did um, it release uh, you're unsatisfied 
One, I was unsatisfied. <laughs> Two, it's cooler if it's lost media. So mm-hmm. add that to the Johnny Blocks iceberg people. I don't remember it. One, ban billion likes. One, ban Johnny will, billion Johnny, likes. Johnny will release. Johnny, Johnny will release. Will release. <laughs> he'll release the 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 cut. What what are we gonna call uh, it? The Bloxian cut, of course. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bloxian mm-hmm. cut, of definitely. Bloxian. Yeah. Uh, but thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you. Mark, do the honors. And I will see you on the flip side. That's wait, it. no. And I, no, wait, no, wait, <laughs> wait, hold on. You have the Markiplier thing. You have the Markiplier thing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>